mic check, mic check. What's kicking, Flamini? Flamly. <laughs> what a way to start off. I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. What I want to kick it about is that um, the New York Giants, a lot of prognosticators, uh, pontificators, and those pundits who um, sit in those chairs on the major networks are talking about how, uh, how far the Giants are not going to go without their wily veteran receivers. First of all, we already know about Plaxico Burris. Then we know that they did not bring Amani Toomer back. Come on, that's the key thing there, folks. We was hoping that um, Plaxico would be here. They gave him enough chance in order to get the, um, the, uh, uh, the gun charge and stuff taken care of last year. Now, if he had taken care of it, you know, in a timely fashion, he would probably only be suspended, you know, for several games this year or maybe all this year and come back to play next year. I got a feeling Plaxico's not going to play this year or next year. He's going to miss two years. Roger Goodell ain't playing. Now, back to the Giants. Over the years, the Giants have never had a real, you know, speed burner type or, or a receiving core where the Giants are known for their wideouts. Check their history. They're not known for their wideouts. Their wideouts are normally a complement to their team. Normally, over the years, the Giants have always had an outstanding running game. The Giants have one of the original football teams that came in the league, at least one of the oldest, you know. And, you know, they, they, sub they subscribe to the mantra of three yards and a cloud of dust. That was back in the day. Now it's synthetic turf. So with that being said, with those guys talking about all these, look, all Eli has to do is, you know, get enough first downs and play ball control. That's what the Giants do. The Giants are stacked deep on defense. You know, they've, they've got interchangeable parts all over on defense. So defense wins championships. A high, uh, a high flying uh, wide receiver core with passes all over the place only gets you on the cover of magazines. So what you'd rather do? You'd rather win the ring? Or be on that magazine cover. I say win the ring. So now with that being said. Think about it. You've got to set up the pass with the run. Now right out the box. I'm thinking look. These defenses are going to come out and say. Look man. Pfft, Eli ain't got nobody to throw to. We're going to stack the box. But remember the running game they got. They got Brandon Jacobs. Bradshaw. Now they have another kid in the wings coming up. Uh, you know I wish Ward all the best. Wherever he went, except for when he plays against the Giants. <laughs> okay. So, once again, I believe the Giants are going to be pretty successful this year. I know they will. Uh, they have a good game plan. The run sets up the pass. I'm not too worried about the wideout situation. All we need to do is to move the chains. We need one guy or two guys to step up every so often to stretch the defense with a long ball. Unfortunately, Eli did not throw a touchdown pass once Plaxico Burris had went out. That's a known fact. That's a stat that you can see there. But if that being the case now, we can transition. We've already been used to not having Plaxico. Okay, so we can evolve and move the game into another another dimension. And don't forget now, the Giants always utilize their tight ends also. Think about the complete game, folks. So, hey, the Giants are not a big wide receiver type team. Then they run first, then pass second to set up. And they, they, their defense is there also. So it's all facets to the game. And everybody out there knows it. Offense, defense, special teams. This is Mr. Batch.